Hey, my name is Brendan with Coding Concepts, and I've got a small tutorial here for our friends at LaptopScreen.com. Um, we're just replacing an LCD screen on a Lenovo G50. So you can kind of see by the video that there's a hairline crack, and mostly it's because it's been opened and closed by one corner of the screen a little bit too roughly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take it apart using a couple of tools that I like to keep handy. So we can start by just prying off the front bezel of the screen here. Just get your little plastic tool in behind there and slowly work your way around. Make sure you're not using a metal screwdriver. This one came from eBay. They're very cheap, and very easy to get, and very handy if you're replacing any kind of laptop screens or screens from mobile devices such as phones or iPads. So it's all click, it's really simple. Pop that off. Our friends at uh, Laptop Screen, they basically they ship it double wrapped in a nice box. Careful with the screen. It is brand new. It's got um, a plastic covering on top of it as well, and that is just so that you don't get any fingerprints on it. You can pull it off as soon as you have everything screwed in. So one of my other nice tools is multi-driver. Get right in there. Okay. And just carefully pry it off. This is in this case it's just a single one. You can see it right at the very bottom here. So just carefully pull that straight away. There's usually a piece of tape covering it as well. Okay. So here's where you verify whether or not you have the same screen. So you got the part number there, LP156WHB, and the connectors in the bottom right hand side on the back of it. This is a new part. It's a different manufacturer, but the connector is in the same spot. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in. But before we reassemble, we are going to test it to make sure that it works. Because as you know, sometimes, even though the parts are advertised as compatible, they might not be. So carefully get that back in. It's just a um, an easy socket, don't apply too much pressure to it. And then I'm just gonna sit it right back up here. Try not to get any of the cables crunched at all. Now we just wanna make sure that the screen power's on. I've got the battery back in. So hit the power button and we just have to make sure that the Lenovo symbol shows up. Perfect, we're good. All right, so now we just need to put the screws back in. So there's a cable on the very bottom here. We just need to route it properly, make sure it's not pinched. Um, it routes through a channel here, here, and here. So as long as you've got it in the right place, and part of it sits right behind the hinge, then you should have no problem screwing this back in. Perfect. All right, now the easy part, you're putting the bezel back on. The first thing you do is take off the plastic screen. It's 
All right, so start from the bottom. Make sure that bevel clicks in on the hinges nicely. And then just work your way around gently. And clip it all into place, forcing pressure from the outside in. If it doesn't click the first time, then gently try a different angle. Don't press too hard. And there you have it. Turn it on one more time. It's working and we're done. Thank you. Once again, this is Coding Concepts, www.codingconcepts.net for laptopscreen.com. Thanks.